Hi, I'm Johnny Engineered, the Taj Professor. Beat the computer for jobs dealing Holden to save the human dealing industry. I had been playing in different casinos and I had been noticing the takeover of the dealing by computers. You know, a machine sitting there, no more human dealer. And I just thought that was terrible because I like having a human dealer. So I decided to write a book on how human dealers can speed up dealing. And this is it. Now, I'm going to tell you who I am. I'm Johnny Engineer. This is from the back of the book. I'm Johnny Engineer, Taj Professor. I was the professor at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, late 90s. Great Canadian gambler, Termel. I was teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course for four years. I was one of the first blackjack card counters in Las Vegas to run a team. My fourth year engineering project was titled APL, Computer Analysis of Canadian Stud, presented to the 1976 Las Vegas Third Conference on Gambling. I'm the author of Play Hold'em Poker Like a Bookie, a system of using counting your outs and exercises, 15,000 problem hands, because people need to practice this stuff if they want to get good. I was cited in the Criminal Code of Canada as an exceptionally skilled professional gambler, expert gambling witness accredited eight times by Ontario and Quebec criminal courts, and federal court, tax court, in Apple versus the Queen, establishing non-professional gambling winnings are not taxable in Canada. I hosted seven Canadian Open Hold'em championships in the 1990s. I was the professor who beat the Donald out of millions at Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City by getting him to switch back to a session fee of 10 bucks a head times 10 100 an hour when they'd moved over to a rake off which would have cost us 160 an hour parliamentary candidate in 1979 to legalize gambling Guinness record super loser winner at the tables loser at the polls for most elections contested 74 most elections lost 73 and none won introduced Hold'em poker to Ontario I ran the biggest gaming house that was ever raided in history with 28 table underground casino turmel in OPP Project Robin Hood. And the record most hands dealt in 30 minutes at Casino Turmel was 36 hands. 50 seconds a hand, where today's live casinos take a hundred seconds a hand. Well, that's what this book is all about. Beat the Computer Dealing Hold'em will not only save the art of well-dealt poker game that provides so much of the real entertainment, but will also increase dealers' tips, casino profits, and live attendance. Eliminating all wasted time can save human dealer jobs from computerized and online games. So I'm going to read the foreword explaining what it's about. As a longtime professional poker player, it disconcerts me to see the loss of live action to online and computerized games. I've always seen dealing as an art form in the labor-intensive entertainment industry of the future. Dealers who make the game fun are a priceless asset. When I first saw computerized tables at the Casino de Montreal, the dreariness of the darkened room saddened me. Seeing the winning hand on your little screen doesn't have the same enjoyable social eclat as when viewing the action with the crowd. Most gamblers prefer a live game where instant sight and sound offers a social camaraderie that can't be quite matched by the online NH. Nice hand. Unfortunately, with no live game, online is the only action some people can find. I will always prefer a human dealing me real cards to a computer programming dealing hackable bites. But not if the dealers are only half as fast. Though a regular live 2040 game manages 36 hands per hour, 100 seconds per hand, so a player making 36 bucks an hour can make $60 an hour if he gets 60 hands online. Where would any winner have to play? The drearier but faster computerized table. To get professionals and small winners back to live action, dealers must deal more hands. Most casinos waste too much time handling the cards, the chips, and the decisions, which, fortunately, can be easily corrected. 
having run poker games since my Carleton University days in the early 1970s, having taken the only mathematics of gambling course ever given in Canada, I had the opportunity to write my own poker rules in an effort to provide the fastest, cheapest, highest action game to which my expected win rate would apply. Eliminating wasted time became my passion and obsession because the faster game was a mechanical advantage that would up my win rate forever. But my new rules challenged some very ancient time-wasting habits. For instance, my rule number one, no missed deals, expose and kill any errors. Computers lose no time to miss deals. We won't lose that time anymore either. In 1992-93, I ran a 28-table, unlicensed underground Casino Termel Topaz in Ottawa with 21 Eubank Blackjack and 7 no rake off poker tables. Before the biggest game and house raid in history, the Ontario Provincial Police Project Robin Hood raid that shut me down, I had the chance to test how much faster live hold'em could be dealt. The casino record for most hands dealt in one half hour shift was 36 hands by Peter O'Brien and Tom Wayland. That's 72 hands per hour, only 50 seconds per hand, where the regular 2040 game takes 100 seconds per hand. So my top dealers were pretty well as fast as a computer. And my tables had 11 seats, not 10. A human dealer's great disadvantage is the time to handle the cards. Three riffles, one strip, one cut will take even the fastest dealer 10 seconds. Add 10 more seconds for dealing the cards and collecting the discards when the computers don't have to do, and the best human dealers suffer a minimum handicap of 20 seconds per hand just for card handling. Slower dealers suffer even more of a handicap. With at least 20 seconds of 100 seconds to process a live hand for just card handling, that leaves 80 seconds for the actual play of the hand from start to finish. My dealers took the same 20 seconds from card handling from the 50 seconds they took to run the hand, not 80. 50 seconds off of 80 seconds for betting and showdown saves 62%, 5 eighths of the time, and cut time for total play in half. The main disadvantage that keeps you and dealers slower isn't the speed of the computer, but the time wasted due to inefficient house rules. This can easily be corrected. The human has several advantages over the computer. Instant eyes and ears. Computers must treat players one at a time in serial mode. They cannot move on until the clock runs out, but human dealers can look ahead as they listen to the betting in parallel mode to anticipate actions of other players, including noticing that the guy who's slow with his call is having a heart attack. Even with pre-click decisions to fold or call, computers inevitably lose time to transmission failures and player hesitations. Automatic shuffler technology. Automatic shufflers can help, but nothing like slashing 50 seconds off the usual time per hand. Shufflers take five seconds to open, switch the decks, and close. But shaving five more seconds off even a fast dealer's 10 seconds is a wonderful extra while saving slower dealers 10, 15, even 20 seconds or more. Reducing the time to process a hand played live from 100 seconds to 95 seconds is five seconds saved on 36 hands. That's 180 seconds saved. It's three free minutes to play almost two extra hands. Now reducing my top dealer's time from 50 seconds to 45 seconds is five seconds saved on 72 hands per hour. 360 seconds saved is six free minutes. At 45 seconds per hand, that's eight extra hands. So just by adopting my casino terminal rules, 80 live hands per hour should be possible with a shuffler, and 72 without. So how did my human dealers come to rival and beat a computer? What rules could slash five-eighths of the time it took to run the live hold'em hand after the shuffling? What miracle rules could knock 50 seconds off the usual 80 to play a hand? Cutting every shred of unnecessary time that a computer doesn't waste is what this book is all about. 
I've already mentioned rule number one, no miss deals. But that's only a minor gain. For instance, if the puck's in the wrong place, we don't have a new shuffle, we move the puck. And I've even added a fourth new rule to cut even a few little more off the chip handling time. So can you imagine the casino dealing blackjack or roulette or craps half as fast and management not doing something about it? As a professional, I know if I can't show humans how to beat the computerized games, we'll all lose our human jobs. I pray these rules can win back online and computer poker players to the live games I play poker at the OLG Casino Brantford down the road. So, now the rest of the book is, back seven, eight years ago, I wrote a letter with 59 suggestions to the Brantford Casino on ways I thought of improving the speed of the game, getting rid of wasted time, and that's all in here, including which suggestions they adopted, which suggestions they did not. And finally, at the end, I have an article from 1985, The Dandy Man, which was talking about my first poker tournament run in the Ottawa area. And then from 1990, another article, High Stakes Gambler Betting His Game is Legal, where I got away with running another tournament. And finally, here's the flyer I had from my 1996 Canadian Open Hold'em Poker Tournament Championship, which I held seven of them back in the 1990s. Also, I have an, an ad here at the end for my uh, Play Hold'em Poker Like a Bookie. Yeah, let's face it, and I also gave you my system for being able to count your outs. And then you're gonna wanna go back and get my book with the 15,000 practice problems to learn how to count your outs right. And finally, these seven videos I've posted at YouTube. And if you go look for Termel Poker, Tosh Professor Tools, they'll all come up. And they're all listed at my site, johntermel.com slash tajprofessor.htm. And these are videos of all the tools I've invented. So finally, you get the rules I have at the back, the Taj Professor's Hold'em rules, so that you can avoid all the slow things that make the computers get an edge over the humans. So I'm hoping that the humans wise up and adopt Casino Termel's Taj Professor Hold'em rules so that you can deal as fast as a computer, and if not as fast as a computer, you can still beat the dealer for the job dealing Hold'em. Beat the computer dealing Hold'em can be found at lulu.com.